Hi, my name is Luke, and I'm from the Dreno Melbourne store. And today I want to talk about options if you want to upgrade out of a pole spear or hand spear into your first spear gun. Um, there's quite a few guns on the market that are between that maybe $75 to $150 range. Um, but you definitely want to look at the quality um, in the certain little pieces that makes a decent spear gun. So this is a Boche Espadon, and it's a very, very popular entry level gun because it's under $100. Um, things to look at is it does actually have a threaded spear tip. So if you purchase this gun, you do want to make sure that those are, are locked down quite tight so they don't fall off over time or a fish doesn't spin and uh, run away just with the tip of your spear gun there. Um, other things to look at, a lot of guns in this entry level price point come with metal. It's a European type of bridle. Uh, integrated with plastic and then onto the band. Um, these here also unscrew. So you just need to maintain and make sure that those are nice and tight. Um, the next thing to look at is just how is the spear attached to the spear gun on the shooting line. And some shooting lines are, are just a simple string, which is quite weak. So if it gets cut or something on a rock, first couple times you use it, the next time you shoot, it might break. So it's just something to maintain and possibly upgrade. Um, this particular model doesn't have a mechanical line release. So quite simply, you're actually taking the shooting line and jamming it back into place to keep it strung onto the gun. So there is some guns on the market that do a better job, but this is still under hundred bucks. So you kind of expect those things with that type of quality. Picasso makes an Asagai, and this is an Aussie style. So what we've done there is requested that it actually has true Dyneema in the bridle. It's a safer option for you. Um, and it comes back to the notches. And these notches are actually smooth, so they're not cutting that material. Um, the shooting line's been upgraded. It's a proper monofilament, which is what we use on the, the larger guns there. And there is a muzzle bungee attached on here. So this will make it easier going back to the mechanical line release. So that's really important. So all in all, it's a decent gun, um, still under 150 bucks there. Another gun on the market, um, which is, this is Ocean Hunters, the SGS, and then they make a whole range of different sizes. Um, it's another Aussie style band. Um, this one actually has a removal tip. So straight off of here, you could um, add a pranger to it. It's six mil in the thread. Um, and it does have a mechanical line release. The only thing you want to upgrade is add a muzzle bungee onto here. and It'll make it easier to load. And also as you're fighting the fish, but that's a pretty, easy option as well, still under the 150 point for you. So there's a couple options for you in the range that'll be affordable for you to get into spearfishing.